Stewart at Canterbury. Welcome to Canterbury Live on Friday the 22nd of May. Yes, you've reached the end of the month. Well, big game of rugby happening tomorrow night with the Crusaders. It's basically a repeat of um, the final. So uh, hopefully the boys do well. I mean, they have to do well. So our thoughts are with them. Radio, we have a winner to announce for our Hoyts movie tickets. And the winner is Krishna. Congratulations to you. And those tickets will be here at reception for you to collect. Very good indeed. You might like to head along to Mad Max. Apparently it's very, very good indeed. Radio. this time next week we'll be announcing the winner of the Logitech UE Mega Boom speaker. So you've got one week to enter. And yes, indeed, you can take it into the shower. Yes, while well, you're singing away there, you can sing along to your favourite song. Pretty cool indeed. To enter, all you need to do is go to our Facebook page, make sure you like us, and leave your details, and you could be the winner that I announce next Friday on the show. Up next to it, it's the last day to enter to win this wonderful book, To Howl With Poverty. It is a modern day take on Downton Abbey. Yes, it is. And over my shoulder here, New Zealand Music Month, we've got some great product from the team from New Zealand Music Month. Awesome black on black t-shirt and a wee bag there. And of course, over to my left, the beautiful painting from Ira Mitchell Kirk. And again, this, the winner will be announced on the show next Friday. Very cool indeed. Radio, coming up on today's show, Dean Simmons is here. We're talking music month. It is the final round of Roundup, so we take a peek at who the finalists are. Yes, we do. And Dress for Success, if you're looking for a bargain, right this Sunday, it's all happening. You could buy some beautiful clothes, but also support a wonderful cause, Dress for Success, at the same time. So we have Deborah here to talk about about that. But first up, it's time, yes it's Friday, to head on down to the Christchurch Casino. All in, he said. I could sense them in the distance. The rattle of the ball. The snap of the cards. A whisper of romance. A laugh. Some were serious. Some were excited. It was an easy call. There it is, Christchurch's leading entertainment venue. We headed down there last night, had an amazing meal down there in Machina. It was great, wasn't it? It was, it was a great night. It was a great night. I was actually saying farewell to Barry Thomas, who was a chair of the Christchurch Casino for over 20 years. Yes, our founding father, if you a like. founding father was. <laughs> we're calling him a bit of a was a godfather last night, wasn't he? <laughs> but it was a great night, a bit of a sing along as well. Yes. Donna was rocking it down there. Oh, I wouldn't go that far, Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was cool though, having the grand piano there. It was great, and of course, Machina is definitely a venue for um, events, isn't it? And it is utilised for that, isn't it? It is. We have a variety of things we can do down there. So from last night with a nice sit down dinner with some nice round tables of ten to a cabaret style event and tonight we'll have the, the catwalk set up with um, designated areas around that so there's reserved seating um, but also a general admission area outside of that as well. And it's for the men of steel. Just quietly lads if you're going into town I would hang around at the Christchurch <laughs> Casino all these ladies that will be exiting after watching some brawn. Yes. 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 My goodness, Jeepers Creepers. Lovely that, show, uh, great show. Yeah, great show. I'm yeah. not going to say it's a family show. No. no. But anyway, <laughs> um, a family show though, CSO concert. Fantastic. Anika Moa yes. and Julia Deans are heading here. Yes, two of our New Zealand iconic singers. Um, they've got a show on Saturday the 6th of June at the Isaac Theatre Royal. And as a sponsor of the CSO, we've put together a little package for people that um, might already have tickets or want to buy tickets to the show. They can do that uh, either through our website there's a link there to the CSO website, or mm. go directly to the CSO website, grab a ticket to the show, uh, make a booking with us in the Green Cafe, and you can have a Carvery pre-show, so that's ready to go, so just rock on in, mm -hmm. have your Carvery meal, the one that we had last night, with all the Yum. roast meats <gasps> and vegetables. Yorkshire puddings, seriously, they are awesome. They've got them down <laughs> pat. <laughs> they are really divine. Yeah. 
Yeah. So you can do that. Pop along to the show. We'll take you down to the Isaac Theatre Royal from the casino. Leave your car in the park, car park. It's part of the package. And then come back after the show and have a dessert buffet. And all for $40. Just $40. So amazing. reasonable. But just as um, Donna did say, you do need to buy your ticket separately with the that's Isaac right. Theatre Royal. So that's, that's easy. But what a fantastic night. Just yeah. those wonderful divas. Yes. And the incredible music the from music. the Crichton Symphony Orchestra. Yeah. A special night out indeed. Radio sponsor. Um, sponsor. Well, it could be another bar we can sit up there. <laughs> Monza Sports Bar. Very cool indeed. One of my favourite nights of the year. Next Wednesday it's happening. Yes. State of Origin. Game one. Go Queensland. Yeah, go Queensland. God, I used to love them. Yeah. I remember as children, I loved, I loved Mal Meninga though. Yeah. Those days. Wally Lewis and that. Good times. Yeah. So that's happening next Wednesday. It is. Next Wednesday at 10 o'clock. We'll have that live. Um, also before that, on a Wednesday, we have our quiz night at 7. Um, that's proving really popular. So we have about 20 teams in that. So if you think you've got, it, got what it takes, <laughs> put a team together and pop on down there nice and early and grab yourself a spot. And no mobile phones. Went to one the other no. night, there was a couple of mobile phones out. No, no, they don't allow no, that. No, not at all. And, and you can use quiz nights um, at um, the Christchurch Casino for the fundraisers as well. Yes, we can You do. offer that out to groups, yep. don't you? We do. We, have, um, we can have social club or charity um, fundraiser nights for that. Um, the other thing we've got happening in um, Monza is the next um, home game for the netball. We've got a social club that's coming along, so we've managed to get them some tickets for the netball. They're coming in, they're having pizza first, um, in Monza and a few social drinks and then popping down to the netball and then coming back. So all of that we put together for a social club as a package and oh, because wonderful. we also are a sponsor of the mainland um, tactics mm. we're able to get them a good deal on the tickets as well. Oh, so fantastic. Um, it's a great night out for a social club. And touching on the pizza, you have Half Price Tuesdays for your amazing pizzas there. They are incredible though. Yep, every Tuesday. So that's dine in, come in and dine in and have your pizza and you can have it for half price on a Tuesday. And you offer takeaway as well. You've got your own boxes. We do. We have takeaways, not just for pizza. So pretty much everything on the menu except, I think, the chowder, I think you can take away. Oh, yeah, so. that'll be a bit challenging. Yeah. Imagine that in the car. Yeah. Oh, imagine cleaning it up, <laughs> losing your chowder in your car. Oh, let's not even go there. Um, matching drinks and food is very cool, and you're doing it with beers. We are. Craft beers become really popular. Um, but for a lot of people, you know, you have your particular favourite beer and it's a little bit of a challenge to perhaps buy a pint of beer that you're not quite sure whether you'd like yeah. it or not. So in conjunction with um, a different brewery every month, we have a Monza um, tasting and matching night. So that's a, this next Wednesday, next Thursday, sorry. Yeah. It is Two Thumbs Brewery. Yeah, Two Thumbs. Yep. And so for $10 you can come along and you can taste um, a range of their craft beers and we'll match it with some food options as well. So it's a tasting plate of food and beer. How cool! Yeah. And for ten dollars. Yeah, ten dollars. You can go online to our website and you can purchase the tickets to that on the website. And that's it. And the website does have everything, as we've said before, CrowchurchCasino.co.nz. Um, enjoy tonight, Donna. I think yeah. you probably had a bit of quality control down in Machina, yeah. those men of steel. Just make sure they're up to up to play, really. Yes, yes. yes. Well, I think we'll have to have a dress rehearsal this oh, afternoon. Oh, I, I definitely yeah, think that should be for the marketing team. Yes. <laughs> no. Well done. <laughs> Yes. Have a great weekend. Radio after the break, Dress with Cecil here with some little tasters that you could purchase this Sunday. See you soon. Love it, love it, love it. Love a bargain, especially when it comes to clothing, don't you, Deborah? Absolutely. And you're going to have a few this Sunday for the wonderful Dress Look Success sale. And you've brought a little bit of pieces in for us. So tell yeah. us, this Sunday, where is it all being held? Selwyn House School, and it's at 10 o'clock until 1 o'clock on Sunday, 24th of May, this Sunday. So don't Three miss it. Three punchy hours. Yes, so arrive early yeah. to get the best bargains. Unbelievable. <laughs> Three hours is not a long time, so you're expecting a bit of mayhem, aren't you? There's going yes, to be clothes for Africa. Yes, pretty full on. Pretty <laughs> <laughs> Which we love pretty, because it it's generates It's a bit of a Valentine's sale, the old yes, elbows coming yes, out. And yeah. Oh, everybody's very courteous, actually. It's done in a nice way. Oh, they, <laughs> it's only a small tug <laughs> off someone, isn't it? Yeah, as well. Uh, but really, we need to firstly touch with why it's being done. 
So this is a fundraiser for Dress Success. Yes. It's all about giving women a helping hand, isn't it? Back it into is, the workforce. very much so. So yeah. we're around empowering women by trying to get them back into the workforce, either entering or returning. But 25% about what we do is about the clothes. The rest about is empowering the mm. women, making them feel good about themselves, raising their self-esteem. And this is one of a few fundraisers that we do throughout the year. And we do this particular clothing sale twice a year, one in autumn and one in spring, and this is the first one this year. That's wonderful. But I know you said 25% is clothing, but if you don't feel good, how can you act good, you know, as in putting mm. your best foot forward? It yeah. makes a huge difference if you feel good mm. about yourself, don't you? It absolutely is, and, and it's like anybody will say, if you got an invite out on Saturday night, the first thing you think of is, what have I got to wear? Mm. And if you do wear something lovely and you look good in it, you do feel good inside, and that's what we're all about. And if people feel good what they're wearing for interview or cold calling, then hopefully that gives them more confidence, and that's really what it's about. Yeah. And they radiate, and that smile is naturally formed on the face, mm. isn't it? Yeah, so, absolutely. And the spokes are up, the shoulders are back, mm. I can take mm. on the world. Let's talk and give and taste, taste of prices and things like that for people. Like the shoes there, those are, those are a bit of cougar on the shoes there, aren't they? I know, no, but they're, they're amazing, amazing, aren't they? So. Imagine walking up to an interview with that, hello, show my heel, yeah. and I could get so that job. Some yeah. Beautiful, beautiful items. So the likes of any footwear is $5 and um, accessories $3. We've got like skirts are five dollars, ten dollars for dresses, fifteen dollars for dresses. So everything's very reasonably priced. But as you can see, so really you're not good individually quality. pricing. You're just like across the board. Yes, all shoes five dollars. Yeah. You said handbags three dollars. Yes. So yeah. this lovely handbag here uh, is just too cute. The wee button detail. We've got the clip here. Look at that in the back. Look at that lining. Some amazing things. They're the gorgeous, tassels, aren't they? How funky for winter to have that over your shoulder. Three dollars. That's ridiculous. That is wonderful. And a, a yummy red one. We've even got a beret, which is just gorgeous. Mm. But up here, though, I'm a bit excited. So you, you said dresses are 15. Yeah, so the dresses, um, we've got dresses are $15 and right. coats are 20. Um, so what I've brought in is an example of, I've just put you know the, the outfit together so you can see how these things would do a mix, be a mix and match. Mm. And the one on the right here, we've got the pants here and this top. So we would have, oh, so for lovely. this outfit, you could have the pants and the top, the scarf and the jacket and those funky shoes or even the boots. And you can get a fab outfit for $50 a whole outfit. It's amazing. Very, very easily. It's this little jacket. How much is the jacket? The jackets are $15. Wow. So it, they're just amazing items that we have. Isn't it funky? Beautiful. I mean, you know, for an interview, maybe, well, maybe it depends on the role you're going for. Well, exactly, these, aren't you? These but items, this could be nice. that, yeah, these yeah. items that we're selling are more casual yeah. items. So yeah. none of the stuff we're selling is office or interview appropriate because yeah. we keep that for our showroom. Mm. So any items that we get donated to us that aren't interview appropriate, we sell at this sale. So everything is what, though, good quality but casual. If you are pinching your pennies, this could definitely be casual or you could dress it up with a nice Absolutely. black blazer. The so right you could, accessories. And, and it's always good, isn't it? You can have a, mm. um, an item that you can go in between both as well. Yeah. Very cool indeed. Yeah. Now, let's talk about money though. Obviously you take cash. We all love cash, yes. don't we? Do you have FPOS available? We have FPOS credit card or cash. So whatever way you want to pay, we have that facility. And are you still wanting to take items or it's a bit late now to take People can still donate items. So we would ask that anybody that has any items to donate, donates them at any Maxwell's dry cleaners. They, Maxwell's. they act as, as drop-off points for oh, aren't us. Aren't they good? Yeah, and all details are on our website as well. Yeah, brilliant. That's really cool. Um, dress for success. So if you can't make it this Sunday, that's okay. They still love your support throughout the year. And uh, all you need to do is go to the Dress Success website. If you find any wardrobe, oh, I've got nothing to wear, but I've got so much in my wardrobe, just think someone could be wearing those items mm. to their next job interview. It's as simple as that, isn't it? Very much so. And plus you're decluttering your, your wardrobe. Yes, which we room. always like to encourage people to do. <laughs> <laughs> Good on you, Deborah. Good luck to you Thank and you. the team. I look forward to seeing how it all goes and hearing about the success. I'm sure it will be, especially that $3. Seriously, come on now. My goodness. <laughs> Righty ho. Whoops, I was just sharing some history from my childhood, but anyway, we'll move right along. Um, very exciting, Dean Simmons, because tonight is the final of Roundup. It is.
Here we go. Here we go. All the bands. Big, yeah, big task for the judges. Um, and they're all very different, aren't they? Yeah, the, yeah so the bands that they've, they've played, the 28 bands that mm. I um, mentioned at the start of the, the whole segment, right at the beginning of May. Um, yeah, so they've whittled them all down. And so we had there's four, so they had four heats and then there's a, a wild card that, that um, came through the People's Choice. So five bands tonight. Yeah, but let's start off. We're actually going to show a clip of a very, very cool music video indeed. It is Hawaiian Maiden. Love that name. Yeah, I wish I'd thought of that name. <laughs> let's check it out. It's cool. It is cool, and, and it's um, so I, what you'd call it. I guess these got Hawaiian maiden. So there's a there's a that. dirty, you know, surf rock edge to it. Yeah, very gritty sort of thing. Yeah, bit of rockabilly. They play sort of surf rock oh, and rockabilly. Yeah, bit of rockabilly too. Yeah, Hawaiian maiden. So it's new new band. That's you know. So this is one of the five. One of the next one next of five, up yeah. though is Jed Parsons. That's cool. Yeah, Jed and Hera do a lot of work around town, and Jed's playing with another guy or two other guys, um, Moses Robbins. Um, that's Moses on the base there. And well, we know Moses, you know, Dean, actually. Moses is coming He's to their social media guru, I'm just not, I saw that. I saw that on, on, uh, on Facebook. Yeah. What's all that about? Yes, but he does He's have another life. He's helping us too with our social media. Is he just? Yeah, easy social media. Oh, my crikey. There we go, I'll plug that go. too. And um, uh, Matt Andrews on, yeah. on, on drums. Yeah. Oh, God, they're a good mix. They're actually a really, really cool really mix. Really, really good. Yeah, awesome. So have a look on SoundCloud. He's got some good stuff. Cool. Jed. Yeah. Polo Sweater. I know. That's a funny old name. It is. <laughs> Again, I think it's a cool name though. Um, so they're f like formed at the uh, CPIT uh, Musical Arts School, mm -hmm. and um, I guess Groove Pop. They're a four-piece, and that's the t you know the, the type of genres. Um, yeah, Groove Pop. So nice, light sort of funky, funky tunes. Yeah, very cool, and mm. great. They've stuck together. Moon Pop. Moon Pop. Yeah, Moon Pup. So you've got, uh, I think I mentioned earlier in the earlier program, a, a band called Villain. Mm -hmm. And so the guitarist, Cameron Hoy, out of Villain, is drumming in Moon Pup. And they're sort of, again, they do a little, I guess, it's grungy, noisy, um, a little bit of surf rock too as well. Um, and a couple of chickadees in it, I see. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Very cool. Yep. Yeah, very cool. So, again, another, you know, just different type of genre of music and all good fun. Now, Dead Rats. I guess it's not classical. <laughs> What's that name? Dead Rats? You're well, right. Maybe it is. Hamlet or it something? It actually Dead isn't. Rat, Dead Rat. This is, these guys are punk. Young Funny that. punk rockers. <laughs> and they just love, um, yeah, smashing it, basically. So they are the people's choice. They are the, they are the ones that... Really? They came through, apparently, in the heat, so I didn't see them, but they just went nuts. Could and it's so vicious potential there maybe? It could very well be, yeah. They've got um, you know, black flag influences and, and all sorts cool. of... Yeah, yeah, really, really cool. So, so yeah, down so to those five yeah. bands. Hawaiian Maiden, love that name. Mm. Jed Parsons, yep. Polo Sweater, yep. Moon Pup yep. and Dead Rats and Dead. Orby. They're playing, they're playing, so it's Ducks Live, yep. 9 o'clock. 9 o'clock. It kicks off and what they do, they roll the dice and, and who's playing first and wherever. Wow. And then it's all go and then judged on the night and Happy days, you're the winner. Happy days. Okay, very quickly, just give us one venue this weekend, bit of a giggy thing. What's happening? Well, Where should we go? I, I reckon um, the Carlton's, because Jordan Luck's playing there. Jordan Luck oh, and his band. Oh, Jeepers Creepers. I know. Jordan Luck. I know. Dance exponents. There I'm going go. way back. Dance exponents. There we go. Yeah. yeah at the sports cool. bar at the Carlton. So the old Carlton's no longer, but Jordan's going to be in there. That's cool. I love him. He is, he's cool. Oh, I've written some of the best songs ever. And he makes you smile. Oh, cool, he's just, yeah. yeah. He's just Brilliant. the dude. Very cool indeed. Hey, thanks, Dean, for another week. Sadly, last week. I know. Last week of New Zealand Music Month next week. But yeah. anyway, it's been so much fun. Yeah, it has, thank you. Thank you so much for joining us this week. And to Lisa Jordan for helping me out while I was a little bit ugh, sick. But anyway, back on deck. Have an awesome weekend. And we'll do it all again on Monday. Cheers.